everyone, this is Jessica with svgaddict.com and I'm here to show you how to assemble the Spring Fling collection. I'm going to first get started with the kite card. And um, here is the base. I've already, it's already um, scored for you, for your folds. What you're going to do is flip it so that your texture is on top. And I've already gone and folded it and inked it, but you're going to um, fold it by pushing in the center fold right here on both sides and then collapsing it together so it'll fold into a kite shape card just like that. Now I'm going to start first by putting the inside panels in. And I'm going to use my ETG gun for this. So here is the first panel. I'm just going to line it up. There we go. And I really liked using the double-sided paper for this or um, solid core cardstock. Okay, and now we have the four little inside panels, and um, I used the Howdy Doody designer cardstock paper, 6x6 six by, six by Miss Caroline. Um, just found it at a local scrapbook store, and I love this paper. I got it last week, and I'm already almost through all of the paper. So you're just going to put your panels in like that. That way the whole card is decorated and you'll be able to embellish it with whatever you like. Um, I would say keep the embellishing to a minimum on um, the little inside panels here on the folds right here that way it, you won't prevent it from folding um, because it does stick up a little bit now I'm, we're going to um, do the kite the front panels here for the shape of the kite and I believe in my photo I popped them up with um, with a foam pop dot and gave it some really nice dimension. I think that even just with the layers it gives it great dimension. And um, you take a twine or ribbon and create a tail for the for the kite for the bottom as shown in the photograph on the website and at the beginning of this photo tutorial video tutorial so there it is there is the kite card very pretty opens up just like the purse in the pretty purses collection so thank you and stay tuned for the rest of the projects Okay, everyone, we're ready to assemble the um, fence, the spring fence tray. Um, the first thing you're going to do is um, you're going to want to bend up the teeth for the ends here. So you're going to bend them up because they're going to glue down right here. Um, bend all the score marks. Everything's already scored. So we're going to start by getting our glue, and I use the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. And we're going to put glue on each of these tabs here. Okay, and you're going to you're going to just glue them down right like that. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to do that for the other side. And pick 
pick it up and I'm going to glue it right down there. Okay, make sure you're lining your edges up perfectly. That way everything fits the way it's meant to. Okay, so we're going to put glue on the tabs right here to attach the fence side. And you just glue them in place wherever they line up at. Okay, then you're going to do the same thing for the other side. Oh, there's two versions of this in the collection. There's a version for a 12 by 12 mat or an 8.5 by 11 mat also this will fit on. Or there's a 6 by 12 mat version. That way, um, and you can also use that version for your 12 by 12 mat to make it even bigger than what it is here. I believe this is like six and a half by three inches, but about an inch and a half to two inches deep. So there, that forms the box for you. And now we're going to put down the the um, the inside bottom here. I'm going to use my ATG gun for this. Get all those sides glued down there and just fit this right in to the box, to the bottom. Use a, it looks nice and polished. Okay, now um, use double sided paper. I recommend um, any double sided paper or solid color core cardstock. Um, you don't want to use the white core cardstock because you'll have white edges and you'll be inking for days and there's very 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 thin areas in there to be inking so now I'm, I've already put um, foam dots uh, foam squares on the um, fences here I d um, embossed them with the Cuddlebug Distress Stripes embossing folder and what we're going to do is just line them up and put them all around the box and just stick them right on. I really like the way this folder gives 